Today we are finally getting our bike, new bike, going to Trek. I'll show you when we pick it up. It's 11 a.m. now. I went through my full morning routine, got some work done, read. Now we're going to head over to the bike shop just after I have my first meal. Today we have an easy 10K run and a pull session back by a little bit of core. And then tomorrow's going to be a rest day. Yesterday we had a really long ride with my buddy Mike. It was supposed to be about a 35K easy zone two ride. Ended up being 45K because of the route, but we stuck to the hard zone so it was all good there just going to need a little more recovery time a little more stretching and, and foam rolling i'm super pumped to get the new bike because i'm also getting clip in pedals and i'm going to finally be able to clip in so all the watts will easily increase by being able to lift my feet up with the with the pedals two whole eggs two slices of turkey bacon with one cup of egg whites and we're going to be using no sugar added ketchup on there as we plan the day and watch some videos before we head out we made it but to pick up the bike now Try to fit it in the car. We're gonna see. Probably let's take a tire off. There she is. Just got back. So we picked up the 2022 Trek Imonda SL6 Disc Pro. Snagged it 56 centimeters. We also got a bike pump and I got my cleats put on pedals. I got the Shimano Altegra pedals. Also picked up a Wahoo Element Rome. Super pumped to get that on here. That's the whole setup. So I'm gonna be looking forward to the rides. It's gonna be much nicer rides now. We're gonna go for our 10K run now. Easy pace, holding about six minutes per kilometer. Zone two training. I won't get any footage. Don't have anyone to record with me today. After I come back, I'm gonna hit the pole session, have a nice big post-workout meal, and take you along the rest of the day. Just got back and this isn't actually rain, this is pure sweat and I'm super pumped. We made good progress because for the first time, I was able to complete a 10K under one hour in zone two. Previous times, every time I would do a 10K, it would end up being an hour and five minutes, say six and a half minutes per kilometer pace, just to stay within zone two. And when I say zone two, I'm, try I'm really making sure I don't get into the 150, 160 heart rate. Um, the goal is to cap myself in the 140s and anytime I get into 150, 160s, I slow it down. I've always needed to slow it down to a six and a half or even slower per kilometer pace just to maintain that zone two training and get back into the 140s. This time I was able to basically maintain 140s at six minutes per kilometer. And then I just went a little faster near the end to get under one hour so I could feel that 59 minute 10K in zone two. Some clear signs of improvements on the aerobic base. Now I'm just gonna put two scoops of scratch in here, have a protein shake, and then head to a undisclosed location, a gym that's closed, but I'm able to use it. So I'm not able to really record at all. That's why I said I won't get much footage today of me training, but we're gonna be doing that workout. It's a pull session, and then I'll come back for the post-workout meal. After a long session, nothing tastes better than a nice cold beverage with electrolytes and carbs. Just finished the workout, so now we're doing some grocery shopping. Picked up frozen berries so far, some toast bread, some salads. I'll show you everything once we get back home. I'll shower up and then I'll put together a nice meal. Their lights have been on all day. I'm gonna go tell them. Just picking up the last load here. Then it's gonna go let those neighbors know in my condo building that their car lights are, are, are still on. We picked up some vector cereal, a whole bunch of goodies. I'll show you once we get in. As I'm unpacking, of course, we spill the salad. It starts seeping out, but this is what we got, all right? I'll clean this up right after I run through this. So we got dried mangoes, two jumbo boxes of vector cereal. Look, and of course, we dropped that as well. Continue, two salads, big salads with kale, cranberries, some cheese, and some nuts, eggs, tuna, toast bread, peanut butter, all natural, with some jam, almond milk, 30 calories per cup, frozen berries, blackberries, frozen fruits, raspberries, electrolytes, and some snacks, 
that are like chips or crackers. So I had a friend of mine who is really into the whole bike scene and he basically pointed out that this isn't an SL6 Pro, it's an SL6 E-Tap, which is actually an upgrade from the Pro. Man, at the bike shop, they told me it's the SL6 Pro, 2022 edition though. So I'm gonna do some more research and actually figure out which one, which model this truly is. Everything is all set up. I'm just gonna take my quad lock from my other bike and place it on here so I then can have my phone here as I'm biking there. No need for the aero bars because the half Ironman I'm doing is hilly. It's in BC, Victoria, BC, and I won't need to be spending much time in aero position. For the post-workout meal, we're having the tuna salad with these chips. There are avocado paprika flavored chips and raspberries. So we got a bowl of raspberries plus the salad there with the cranberries, tuna, cheese, olive oil, balsamic. We're just gonna watch some videos while we eat. That might be it for food. It's already 8 p.m., believe it or not. So we got a lot of things done. It's already 8 p.m., believe it or not, but I'm gonna be sleeping about 10 p.m. I might have another snack after this and then finish off the night by reading to wind down before bed. It's 8.30, we're just gonna finish it off with some chips and then read before bed. Good morning, today we've got a jam-packed day. We've got two sessions. We are selling a bike. We are going to Cairo for a session. We've got two appointments reading and doing some client work later on. The weather's been amazing around Toronto. My buddies and I have been going to the beach the last few days, every other day essentially. And we got real nice tan, got burnt a little bit on, on my back, but worth it now because it's looking like the next week or so, it's not gonna be great weather. You know, it's gonna be 15 degrees Celsius, maybe 18 degrees Celsius, which, which is solid for sure. I'm not complaining. Just saying it's not beach weather. It's 6 a.m. I woke up, went through my routine, and I'm just gonna be reading now. And the book I'm actually reading is this Fast 5K. I got it from my buddy Dom. Really appreciate it. It's by Pete McGill. Highly suggest it. There's so many tips, training tips, uh, recovery tips to improve your running times. So it's a great read. Later on, I'll take you for our appointment at the Cairo Clinic. I'm doing something new, never tried this. It's called New Calm. It's basically a, a pod that puts you in a really deep meditative state for 60 minutes to exponentially increase the recovery process. got the good old vector cereal as a pre-workout meal. Use almond milk, diesel, cookies and cream, whey protein, blend it up and we just pour it, use it as the milk. We're gonna go ahead over to the gym and hit an upper body session with some core. We just wrapped up the pull session. I'm just gonna go meet a guy to go sell the bike. After I sell the bike, we're gonna go for our 35K ride. Gotta run some errands, make some appointments and then we'll be heading to that uh, Cairo clinic for the restorative pod. All right, so one problem I had recently is I got an air freshener, a car freshener stuck in here. I got a pencil crayon, I put the tack on it, tried to put it in there and then take it out, wouldn't come out. Soon I'll take it to the dealership just to take that out and pull it out, otherwise there's no real way to get it out. So for now, I'm just gonna wait till the smell wears off and then we'll take that out. Here's the previous bike that I'm selling, get rid of, it's uh, the Schwinn bike. I just got it off Kijiji for uh, 340 and I'm actually selling it for 350, so a little slight profit. I'm just gonna check the back tire, make sure everything's full and ready, primed for the guy who's buying it. Sold the bike. As I'm selling the bike, I run into this guy, Kyle, who knows my mom from Orange Theory. And he tells me this whole story, so crazy. It's extremely inspirational, I have to share it. 
and I got his contact info so we can stay in touch. Kyle, he was being trained in 2017 to be a fitness coach at Orange Theory, the Orange Theory that I was working at. And my mom worked out there. He met my mom there, said he came out to me, recognized me because my mom showed him my Instagram and everything, and he follows me. Anyways, long story short, his life got turned upside down. It's got a colon cancer. It grew to the size of a melon in his stomach. Couldn't get into the hospital for five, six months. He was trying to get a scan, couldn't get a scan. They wouldn't give him a scan because he's too young. So many things were popping up and basically what it came down to is he, he got a, a crazy surgery done and he's just recovering now. So it's 2021. He went through hell in 2017, 2018, still just recovering now. and. He has like a, a bladder attached to him because they had to remove his bladder. So he doesn't have a bladder right now. His large intestine function decreased drastically. And he's extremely positive and he's determined to go share his story. And it, it completely gave me chills when I was talking to him. Uh, it, was, it was insane. Insane. So at the end of the day, you have to be grateful for your health. I've talked about this plenty of times. You always have to be grateful for your health because you never know what can happen. You know, he's a healthy guy. He works out. Came out of nowhere and just flipped his world upside down for years in so much pain and and thankfully he's okay and he beat it and it's all through the mindset and that's what he was preaching and i completely agree if you're you remain positive throughout these things you're going to recover if you don't slim chances so they called him the miracle man because he recovered from it when he shouldn't have been able to but there's that we're just going to have a, a shake with some fruits and then i'm going to pack my bike get some scratch in a water bottle and then go for the 35k ride. All right, before we head out, we're just gonna have a couple of dried mangoes for some energy, put a scoop of scratch, which is about 20 grams of carbs in the bottle with some Vega Sport electrolytes. Nothing like dried mangoes. It's game time, here's the current setup. We have the quad lock for my phone, I'm gonna put that there. We have the Wahoo power meter. This is the 2022 Trek Imonda SL6E tap. We have the water bottle cage here, filled up with scratch and some electrolytes. We're gonna put on the clip in shoes. When I go for the long rides, I listen to a podcast. That's why I bring my phone and set it up there. Just got in from the ride. First half crushed it. Was averaging two kilometers a minute. It was way better on this bike than the other bike. It was maintaining two kilometers per minute and uh, was luckily fueled up. So it felt way better. Uh, my right foot was cramping a bit, but it was just because I had the shoe tightened a little too tight. So once I loosened it, the cramp went away and we finished it. So here's the stats. Total ride time was just under an hour and 10 minutes. Average speed was 30.4 kilometers an hour. We did 35.1 kilometers and uh, max speed was 56. The watts was, um, averaging 190 watts over the hour and nine minutes. And that's the ride. Okay, so I've got to quickly make a shake, rehydrate, and then I'm going to do the recovery at the uh, Cairo Clinic. Uh, it's one hour session, and I'll come back and have a big meal. Just finished up in the car now. This is the little sticker pad they put on you that helps you relax and fall into that deep meditative state. So it's a full hour and what it's used for, initially it was used for people who have PTSD to help them relax, settle down, and then uh, top level athletes began to use it, uh, NFL athletes. They would do it three times a week if they got injured to speed up the recovery process. What I did was I treated it as a meditation session and that's how you're supposed to treat it. It helps you fall into that deep Zen state to get you out of the fight or flight mode to expedite the recovery processes. I will say it was pretty cool because I meditate 20 minutes a day in the morning and if, if you meditate, you know the feeling where you kind of feel like you're out of your body in a sense. If you get into that deep level of meditation, you feel literally out of your body. I fell into that kind of feeling very quickly, much quicker than when I meditate. So that was really cool to see that and feel that. What we're doing now is preparing eggs with some basmati coconut rice. And as it's cooking up, I'm just going to snack on this little slice of raisin bread. Anyone else do that? I know a lot of people who will snack on something while the meal is being prepared. Let me know in the comments below if you do that or if you think that's weird. It's five o'clock, so we're having basmati rice with some eggs. And then I'm going to sit down, watch some YouTube videos, catch up on some stocks and reply to emails. My parents just stopped by and delivered these uh, steak and potatoes. Nice Italian meal. Their 25th anniversary, so they picked up some uh, nice food. I'm just going to enjoy this. Probably have a snack before bed, but it's uh, seven o'clock now, but I'll be sleeping about uh, 10 p.m. We just had some packages come in, so let's take a look and see what we got. We got some Thirstwear shorts. Shout out to Mike Thurston. That's what we got. Black ones, 
red ones. Can't wait to wear these at the beach. Then we got features. These are socks for running. A few different kinds, ankle socks, and uh, ones that are a little higher up. And then we got Nike leggings. Those are gonna help with some biking or if I need to do some runs in the cold. Last little snack before we call it a night. What do you know? More dried mangoes. Love these. So good for the sweet tooth. I finished replying to emails, finished all my work for the day. It's eight o'clock now. I'm gonna hang out, watch videos, and then read 30 minutes before bed, sleep about 9.30, maybe 10 p.m. I'm still working on getting the, the sleep schedule back in order. You know, over the weekend, I was having some late nights. So winding back down to sleeping at 9 p.m. every day and then waking up at 5 a.m. every day. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. Let me know what you want to see more in the comments below. Stay Stay healthy, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one.